Hi everyone. So this is our last circle lesson. Wednesday we're going to have a just a review. There won't be a video. And then Friday you're having a quiz. Alright, so pause the video and try these two problems. So remember the first thing you want to do with these is identify your um, diameters. So for instance, I noticed MJ. There are, you can do this in multiple ways. So then I said that... Um, so this half of the circle has to be 180. So I'm going to add 71 and 65, and I get 136. Subtract that from 180, and I get 44. So this piece, KJ, is 44. I have one over it. Okay. So that's 44. And then I'm going to see, is there anything else I, I can figure out without doing any real math? Um, so I have vertical angles, right? Ugh, this is ugly. So that means this angle and this angle is the same. So this piece is 71. So then I need the um, this last piece. So on this side, that's 180 also. So 180 minus 71 is 109. So this is 109. So then I'm gonna look what the, what's the question actually asking me. What is the measure of angle MNK? MNK is this angle right here. So that's these two, the 71 and the 65. So I actually did a lot of work that I didn't need to do. Um, we did that already. We added those, 136. But it's good practice to sit through. Because on the quiz on Friday, I'm not just going to ask you one thing. I'll ask you, what's MNK? What's M, um, M K? What's M J I? You know, lots of stuff. So pause the video. Find every arc. So we have seventy one. Again, I see my radii. My radii. My diameter is right here. So that's gonna help me find G F. I'm gonna add those two. Subtract from one eighty. Seventy one and sixty six is one thirty seven. 180 minus 137 is 43. So this piece is 43. The vertical angle is also 43. To find that other missing side, GC, I'm going to do 180 minus 43. And I get 137. So this piece is 137. So I found everything I need. So now let's look at what the actual question is asking. They want to know FBG. FBG. So that's this angle right here, and that is the 43 degrees. Done. All right. Pause the video. Try this one on your own. So I'm going to fill in what I know. I know this is 127. This is 32. This is x plus 55. So notice, unlike the last two, we don't have a diameter. But I know the entire circle altogether is going to be 360. So I'm going to add all that up. 127 plus 32 plus x plus 55 plus 45 plus 106 equals 360. I, you don't even really need to add, like, writing all that out. I'm just going to grab my calculator and add all those numbers. So 127 plus 32 plus 55 plus 45 plus 106. And I get 365 plus X equals 360. So this is interesting. You actually get a negative answer. X is negative 5. And that's okay because if you were to plug in into that, um, that means that pi piece is 50, 50 degrees. All right. One more using central angles. Pause the video. Do it on your own. All right. So I have... Now these two are equal. Let's see. What else do I have? Okay. So I'm going to use... I, there are multiple ways of doing these. Um, I have my diameter there, so I'm going to do 180 minus 115, 
that gives me 65. So that means this is 65 and this is 65. So I can add all of it up to 360. I'm going to add those together. So x plus 65 plus 46 plus 72. I wrote that out of order. Sorry. Is 180. So let's see. 72 plus 46 plus 65. 183. So this is another one that has um, oops, 183 where my answer is going to be a negative. And I get x equals negative 3. And again, not a big deal because if I plug in, um, I do get a nice number right here. I got four, negative 3 plus 46, so that's 43 degrees for that arc. All right, so before we start this one, I want you to draw a... A little house. Draw yourself a little like tiny house. And that's the thing I'm going to be looking for in today's notes. All right, so inscribed angles. So, first thing I'm going to I notice is this is 65, 66. Remember, the angle is half the arc. That means this is 33, right? So, arc divided by 2 equals your angle. And then another thing you should notice is angle C is half the circle, right? The, um, the arc it makes is half a circle, so that's 90 degrees, okay? Because since this is 180, half of 180 is 90. So now to find the missing um, angle, there's a couple ways to think about it. You can do, I think the easiest way to do it Again, you can think about this in a lot of ways. Um, there's, I have a diameter here. So I could do 180 minus 66 is 114. So this is 114 divided by 2, and I get 57. We could do it that way. We could add 90 plus 33 is one. 23, 180 minus 123 is 57. Um, that's the angles inside a triangle. So there, however you're able to figure out the answer, there are lots of ways to figure these out. So for this one, I'm going to look at what I'm given. I have that 37. So we need to find the arc. So when we have the angle, we do the angle times 2. Right? Angle times 2. So that means this is 74. Again, notice I have a diameter there. There's my diameter. So that means the right half of the circle is 180. 180 minus 74 is 106. 106. And that's the answer. All right, last page. Pause the video. See, what, see if you can figure it out. <coughs> All right, so this one's a little harder. So now, this arc, what's this arc going to equal? It's 2 times 6x plus 7. Remember, we always multiply the angle times 2, right? Angle times 2 or the arc divided by 2, either one. So in this case, I'm going to multiply the angle. Now I have all the arcs, so 7x plus 14 11x plus 2, and 2 times 6x plus 7, all of those arcs together have to equal 360, the whole circle. So I here I get 12x plus 14. I have to combine like terms. All right, so I have 7x, 11x, that's 18. I lost my plus there. Um, so let's see, 18, that's 30x, plus we have 28 and 2 is 30. 30x plus 30 equals 360. So 30x equals 330. Divide, and we get 11. So now the question is asking for CD, right? So then we're going to go 11 times 11 plus 2. 
121 plus 2, the answer is 123. Done. All right, last one. So this one's actually easier than number 7. Number 7 was the hardest. Um, so we have our semicircle. So we just have to add those and let them equal 180. Right? So I'm just going to combine like terms right away. So 3 plus 59x equals 180. Subtract 3 on both sides. 177 divide by 59 and my guess is that's 3 I'm just gonna check on my calculator yep x equals 3 and then it says find KL this one's not even using that stuff this is a 90 degree angle though we do know that um, so then we're gonna do 26 times 3 plus 2 26 times 3 is 78 plus 2 is 80 and that's your answer and we can use that um, I know that 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 means this angle is 40 half of that um, and that would, this one would be 50 since they add up to 180 all right that's practice I will see you guys later bye